สวัสดีค่ะ Hello Grade 5 Good afternoon Today is the 3rd of July and welcome to our online class again with Teacher Norbel. Now for today's lesson we will be talking about verbs in simple present tense. But before that we will do a bit review of what we had talked about yesterday. It's all about occupation. Now, what are those occupations mentioned during our class yesterday? Can you name one? Doctor, very good. Farmer, nurse, teacher, vet, firefighter, taxi driver. Okay, now those are the occupations that we had discussed yesterday. Now, because you had named all the jobs correctly and used them in the sentence, everyone got 10 stars each. Now, for today's video, let's see who can do all the exercises correctly and mm, properly. Now, what I want you to do for this video is you record all your answers using your phone. And then you make only one video. And then you send your video via line group so that I will know that you really are practicing your English even you are staying at home. Is that all right? Now, are you ready? Now, let's Go to the next page. Okay, now let's go back to our topic, which is verbs in the simple present tense. Boys and girls, use simple or use verbs in simple present tense to talk about the habits and routines, which means the action you usually do. Let's say every day, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Thursday, every Saturday, every summer, every Christmas break. That is when you use verbs in simple present tense. For example, it's Monday. You watch TV. The next Monday, July 27, again you watch TV. Monday, you watch TV. So it is correct to say I watch TV every Monday because it is already your habit to watch TV every 
Monday. It is already part of your routine. So the verb is in simple present tense. Okay. Another example. Now it is Saturday. The boys play football. Let's say next Saturday or another Saturday, the boys again played football. The next Saturday, the boys still played football. So it's been how many Saturdays that they are playing football? So we can say the boys play football every Saturday. Can you say the sentence? Good. The boys play football every Saturday. Take note. The subject, the boys, is in plural form. So, the verb in simple present tense shouldn't have an S. However, if the subject of the sentence is in singular form, the verb should be with S. Now, let's take a closer look to our sentence. The subject is the boys. So, it means many boys, not only one, but many so it, the subject is in plural form which means the verb should not have an s that is the rule if the subject of the sentence is plural the verb should not have an S in the simple present tense. Okay, now let's take a look at these examples. Okay, how many boys you can see in the picture? Only one, which means singular, one. There is only one boy playing football. So, we say, the boy plays football. In this sentence, the verb plays has an S. Because the subject is only one singular which means the verb that follows should have an s remember it is only applicable in simple present tense let's take another Example. Okay. In the picture, you can see only one boy walking. So we say the boy walks. One boy only. So the verb should have an S. 
Okay, another example. How many boys are there? One, two. So there are two boys, which means our subject now is in plural form because plural form means two or more. So we say the boys walk. This time the verb should not have an S because that is the rule that in simple present tense sentences once the subject is in plural form, the verb should not have an S. Another example. Let's try this time. Before I will say it's your turn, I will say it first. Okay. The farmer plant plants rice in the farm. Now, how many farmers planting? Two or one? Only one, which means the subject is in singular. Now, what could be the verb? You will use since the sentence is in simple present tense. Of course, the verb should have an S. Now, I will say, the farmer plants rice in the farm. Okay, now, it's your turn. Say the sentence with the correct verb. Take a video. And send it via line group. Another example. Mm. The chef cook, cooks every day. Say the sentence using the correct form of the verb. Record the video and send it via line. Next, the students write writes every day. Do the same thing. Say the sentence using the correct form of the verb. Record the video. And send it via line. Now, because you did it uh, correctly and you are done with the simple present tense, let's go to verb in simple past tense. Past tense, boys and girls, Use the past simple tense of the verb to talk about actions which started and finished in the past. Which means the action had been done or it is finished. Done. Yesterday, a minute ago, last week, last year, whatever, whenever, as long as the action is already done previously, you always use past tense. For example, last Sunday. Now the setting was last Sunday. So, in the picture, last Sunday, the boy played computer games last Sunday.
Another example. Oh, take note. Regular verbs such as play, dance, walk, wash, we only add ed to indicate the past tense of the action. I will say it again. Take note. Regular verbs such as play, dance, walk, wash, we only need or we only add ed to indicate the past tense of the action. For example, the girl danced ballet last Tuesday when we had the school fair. Note that the girl danced the verb is in simple past tense because the time that the girl danced was last week. Last week. So, no, I mean last Tuesday. <laughs> the girl danced last Tuesday. So, it's done. Now is Saturday. So, last Tuesday. Finished. So we say the girl danced ballet last Tuesday when we had the school fair. Another example. We walked in the beach last week. We walked in the beach last week. We added ed to the word walked to indicate that we did the action last week. So we say we walked in the beach last week. Got it? Cool. Two thumbs up for you. Another example. My mother washed our clothes yesterday. The subject is the mother. The verb is washed with ed because... The action was done yesterday. So we use the simple past tense of the word wash. Now there are what they call irregular verbs in English. Boys and girls, irregular verbs such as drink, eat, fly, and be verbs change the spelling to indicate the past tense of the action. I will say it again. Irregular verbs such as drink, eat, Fly and be verbs. Change the spelling to indicate the past tense of the action. Let's take a closer look to these irregular verbs. Let's say drink. This column here or this row here are verbs in the present simple present tense and this column here are the past tense or the simple past tense now drink drunk we change the spelling 
eat, ate, fly, flew. That's uh, that is how the English did it. <laughs> so now let's proceed to the be verbs. Be verbs uh, means the verb to be, such as is, am, are, and will be. Those are the be verbs. Take note of that. Don't be confused. Okay. Is. The past tense of is, was, are, where, will, would. But, take note again. Would is the past tense of will. But it is an auxiliary verb that has many uses, some of which are even expressing present tense. Let's go to the examples to make it clear. Let's try those verbs in the sentence. Number one here indicates the simple present. All number two in the past, simple past tense. Number one, I drink milk every day. It is a habit, your routine. So you say, I drink milk every day. Simple present tense, drink. Okay, in sentence number two, she drank milk last night. Drank because the action was done last night. Last night only, it's not every day. So it is indicated last night. Okay, let's proceed. Peachy eats breakfast every day. Which is true. Absolutely. Peachy eats breakfast every day. Number two, Maria ate breakfast in KFC yesterday. It was indicated that Maria ate breakfast in KFC yesterday. So the action was already done. So we use the irregular verb ate. Another example, the falcons fly every morning. Take note, simple present tense. The subject is plural. So the verb no as. The falcons fly every morning. Number two. The falcons flew back yesterday because it rained hard. The action was modified that it was done yesterday. So we use the simple past. Tense of the word fly, which is flew. Got it? Ooh, it's getting more exciting. I hope so. 
Now, it's your turn to read and say the correct answer. This time, again, you record a video and send it via line group. You choose the correct form of the verb when you say the sentence. <clears throat> Let's try. The students eat ate lunch in the school canteen last term. However, these days, we eat ate our meals at home since we can't go went to school because COVID-19 infection rate is rapidly increasing. It is, was, advised by the head of state last 1st July 2021 that kids will wear study at home. What would be the correct tenses of the verb? It's your turn. Say it correctly. By the way, all of your videos should only be uh, compiled as one video before you send it to the line group. All right? Okay? That's my boys and girls. Good job. You did a pretty good job today. However, I want you to improve your English every day by you read more books, English books, English comic books, not by then. When you watch movies on your cell phone, you choose English movies. English animated movies so that you will uh, hear a lot of English sentences and you can uh, follow how the characters say it, that's practice. And the last tip is to attend classes of Mrs. Bell online because it could really help you develop your speaking and listening ability in English. Thank you so much for being with me in my class today. You did a great job. All of you are amazing kids. Potential to be a very good English speaker someday. Bye for now. See you on the next online class of Teacher Bell. Bye!